cool cemetery. Let's go check it out. Finland. Wow. Sweden, Norway, Finland. 38 years, 67 years, 70 years. Welcome to Nanilchik, Alaska, a small fishing village on the Kenai Peninsula. The last census, the numbers here were about eight to 900 people. Almost everyone here is Russian or native Alaskan. We have fishermen, quite a few actually, that dock their boats in here. The channel to get into that harbor is so narrow and shallow that they can only come and go during high tide. After Nanilchik, we kept heading south and ended up doing a short hike down by Anchor Point. Southern tip of the Kenai Peninsula, Homer, Alaska. That fisherwoman was driving this Toyota Tacoma a few days ago when it was attacked by a sow. You can see the grizzly's teeth marks and claw marks on the hood and front grill. Crazy. Try and buy some jumpers. We got 
got fish. Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, in this situation, only got worse with time. A few days later, came into the kitchen to find our screen door. It had holes chewed through it, and they had decided to binge eat on carbohydrates. Somehow we ended up with a new roommate. Meet Doc. We're getting you some food, Doc. Hang on. What are we using? And just like that, we all became little cliff swallow parents to Doc, trying to keep him alive until he can fly and be reunited with this little cliff swallow family for his migration southbound. This is what it looks like when our swallow, little baby swallow is sleeping. <laughs> you can't tell, but his little head is tucked in. <laughs> He's so cute. One day we found him on the screen and decided it might be time for him to be set free. There's your family down They're there. All over. I see them. That's them. Auntie Marge, this is Uncle Frank, they're all down there. Come on. We're going to miss you. You've been a good roommate. Sat and we waited and we waited and we waited some more for him to take flight. But perhaps we were feeding him a little too well in the kitchen. He seemed reluctant to leave us. Okay. Well, maybe you're not ready. Yeah, let's give it another 
So back on the box he went and back to the kitchen he went to fly another day. He can lead a dog to freedom, but you can't make him fly. We had ermine under our deck. We had moose in our front yard. We had a baby swallow in our kitchen and a hostile bread takeover by the squirrels. <laughs> but back to Doc. A few days later, we were pretty sure it was time for him to get. <laughs> Whoa! <Yes. laughs> oh, that's great. So here we go again, it's round two. Day, guys. The moment of freedom. He likes it here. Yep. What's not to like? Go and be free, little guy. So we waited and waited and waited some more for him to muster up the courage to take flight. And eventually, he decided it was time. That sounds just like him. Let me get you some eggs. Best dog. <laughs> Is that you free? Go play with your buddies for a couple hours and then you come back. This can't be your home forever. You have to admit, he looks pretty content to be back. <laughs> a few days later, he did take flight and he, along with his entire Cliff Swallow family, disappeared from our docks. Safe travels, Doc. See you next year.